finally for today's episode <laughs> what are the challenges of studying medicine as an international student here what are the hmm. major challenges and what advice would you give to people who want to come do medicine here well i would say that know what you want okay. in simple terms like like i've said the minimum amount of years you're going to spend is 11 years you need to stay too deep within check inside your heart very well think and know whether this is what you want because it's not a journey of no return but i feel like it does look foolish when i start something and i can't finish it that is me personally because i like to follow my plans to the end so you need to know if medicine is for you don't do medicine because your dad said i want to have a doctor as a child you must be a doctor they will not be there when they're suffering <laughs> So don't do it. I'm telling you for free because I have too many friends that thought that oh my dad and my mom are doctors. Therefore, it's not a agent. It's not in your blood. You must not be a doctor. You must not. God has God. God has find another thing. My brother and my sister. I'm telling you for free. So you need to know if that's what you want to do because you're going to need to encourage yourself because sometimes like today I don't feel like studying. That's the truth. But I know that nobody sent me on this journey. I'm the one that chose it. My parents are just supporting me. Nobody forced me. I'm not a stereotypical Nigerian child that they're like, oh, we want, a, we want someone to study medicine. I did it on my own. If it's something you want to do, you need to do the research. Like you need to know all the nitty gritties. You need to know um, how long it's going to take you. You need to start developing interest. You need to go out there and like, you need to meet doctors. You need to get real experience. That's, that's the reason why I did nursing as my undergrad, because I wanted to get real experience. Because there's a fantasy of medicine. There's, oh, you live this glamorous life. Ah, let me just go to school and after I will make money. It's not like that. <laughs> there's so much suffering before this, the so-called glory. There's <laughs> so, so glory. much pain before the gain. So you need to ask yourself whether you are really here for that long-term gain. Because you're not going to get that gain for at least 11, 11 years. years. So you need to be mentally prepared for that. That's just like on that side. With academics, I tell people that I don't, I, I personally don't mix business and pleasure because by the special grace of God, I will have pleasure, I will, I will. But now is the time to work. Like you can't be thinking that you're in med school and you're going to Wobe seven days of the week. It can't happen. Something will give, like your grade will suffer for it. I can assure you of that. Like in med school, <laughs> you have to study like and it's not like the way you study in undergrad like i study seven days a week like there are no days off there are really no days off the only days off i take are the days i take exam because mm -hmm. they didn't teach us anything that day mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have to be ready to work like it's a lot of hard work and if you don't work you will not get results i can't even like sugarcoat it it's hard work and you need to be ready for that hard work something else that's important for me you need to have people that understand your dream and your vision surround yourself with like-minded people in med school and outside so you need like a supportive family if you don't have that you need supportive friends like you need people who believe in what you're trying to do and people who can reaffirm you when you don't feel like because they are down ah uh, the down times ah there are many <laughs> you study for an exam it doesn't come out the way you want like you mm. put in so much hard work and you go into a practical setting and you're looking foolish it's going to happen you need people who remind you that like one one like mistake does not define your whole medical journey so you mm. need people who can reaffirm you you need um support you need a lot of external support you need to be able to also encourage yourself because sometimes people can also get tired of supporting you because it's too long they supported you in year one year two year three year four you're still there year five six seven ten ah come on they get tired so you need to find like a source of support for me like i believe in jesus christ and to be honest i could not be in medical school or do anything without the help of god mm -hmm. and this is not just me saying this because that is a christian thing to say it's the truth it's the absolute truth like i know so many people who work harder than me who study more than me who are more intelligent than me but somehow, some way, God always just comes through. Mm. So I would, I highly recommend God. That's a big resource. I highly do. For international students, guys, don't give up. It can be really rough, especially if you like you go hard in undergrad mm -hmm. and then you're ready to apply and you get ten rejections like I did. It will be okay. Don't worry. Just either go do your masters or choose a different country. 
like it will be fine or we do it you can be one of that 0 0.1 percent don't let anybody tell you otherwise in fact i applied that it's 0 0.1 percent until i found that was no part but it's okay just apply all the same um as an international student you get a lot of no's don't let it get to you because if i did like i wouldn't even have gone to nursing school because that's mm. a whole different story but no. you're going to get a lot of no's you need to like just just take the no and continue going continue pushing because this is your dream and like you came to this country to get the best of education so mm. like focus on that and work hard and God help you that's all i have <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video really helped you guys. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, just leave it down in the comment section down below. Praise will answer you when she can, or I'll, you know, fish out the answers for you. But, <laughs> but you will get your answers. Um, thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, share with your friends and family, and yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you for watching.